Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the premiere episode of NGW Horizon. And this is a new show that will be happening every Wednesday night here on, uh, I guess, Twitch TV is our network. Hopefully it loads. I've never seen this loading screen take this on. This is going to be one of those loading screens that, like, is going to hurt your eyes. Here we go. Oblivion with a toast to my guy Oblivion. Big homie. Lives right. Liv Morgan. You and Sasha Banks had one of the best feuds starting in like at the start of NGW, and I loved it. Thanks, man, for hanging out. And we have three matches on the docket for you tonight. We have Daniel Bryan going one-on-one -on -one with Dolph Ziggler in his debut. We have a lot of debuts. Daniel Bryan, Dolph Ziggler, Zelina Vega, and Nikki Cross. Even though Cross and Zelina Vega really did make their debut in the Battle Royal, this is the first time in singles action. Bryan and Ziggler, though, first match here at NGW as they look to climb up the ladder. And how about what we saw last night? Or how about, we saw, how about what we saw Monday night? Kitty Omega. Kenny Omega, he got he had his. For, well, let's talk about the very first thing before we even talk about Omega. Ted DiBiase offered Razor Ramon a generous sum of money to drop out of the match at Clash of the Champions with Kenny Omega, and we had then we had Kenny Omega celebrate his world title win later that night. Karrion Cross coming out. Taking out Ciampa, trying to take out Kenny, but Kenny being the worm that he is with that leech Ted DiBiase, they both managed to escape and get out of there. But it was announced that next Monday, the main event of NGW Shockwave, a world title rematch, Karrion Cross and Kenny Omega. Folks, we're talking pay-per-view quality on television. You will not want to miss it as Daniel Bryan comes to the ring, heading to the ring for his first match. Oh, wow, this is eco-warrior Daniel Bryan. I forgot all about that. Not a bad. That was actually a pretty fun gimmick. I even liked the title. I thought the title was dope. We're not sure. We're not sure if, if Bryan's a face or a heel right now. We got to see how things shape up. Brian and Ziggler in their first singles match in NGW, their first match ever in NGW. Both of these guys with storied careers, both of these guys with a lot of matches against each other under their, their, under their library of matches. You look no further than Bragging Rights 2010 when these two put on what was easily considered a match of the year contender in WWE. And let's see if they're gonna let's see if they're gonna continue that here tonight. All right, I need a commentator for this. Someone should join me on commentary for the. Okay, that's what we'll do. Every episode of Horizon, we'll have a guest commentator. Anyone want to join me at the table tonight? If it never happened on TV, it never happened. WWE man, Apollo Cruz, are you on? No, you're okay. Are you you? No, you're Cesaro, right? And I'm here. Okay, we can do Cesaro. No, I, okay, let me do Cedric. Let me do Cedric first. I'm here with Cedric at the broadcast table. Cedric, welcome to NGW Horizon. What are your thoughts? I will do Cedric tonight. I will do Cesaro. I'll do Damien at the next Horizon. Maybe. What are your thoughts on this match here, Cedric? Dolph Ziggler and D Daniel Bryan. Oh, wow, the graphics didn't. The, gra the graphics didn't transfer, so we're probably not going to use this arena now. That's good to know. We'll use it for this week. We'll use it for this stream, and then I'm never going to use it again. I'm never going to. And a clothesline outside of the ring here. Oh, this is so bright and ugly. My God. It's like some of the layers didn't transfer from the download. And Brian Tane out here to the crowd. Tyler's in the main event tonight, King. You're wrestling uh, Johnny Gargano. And that's right. That's what it's all about, Cedric. A great opportunity for both of these athletes. Get a win. Get a win under your column here. Get an notch under your win column. And we have that Zero Gravity Rules main event tonight. Tyler Bate and Johnny Gargano. Bate, he had some really disparaging remarks about Gargano and Jungle Boy. 
at uh, Living in Sin. It's a glitch for all custom arenas. Some of the custom arenas I have work perfectly fine. Well, so my Las Vegas arena worked, my Madison Square Garden arena worked. This one is the first one I've seen do this. Brian picking Dolph Ziggler up and a dragon screw. Ziggler having to roll out of the ring there. And Brian just slid. Nope, nope. Ziggler reverses it. Ziggler suplexing Daniel Bryan instead. And a, uh, just a stomp on the back of the neck there. Cedric bringing Red Lobster. Cedric, what is your obsession with Red Lobster? You've been quite obsessed with Red Lobster. I'm not saying no. I'll take, I'll take the Red Lobster if you're offering it. But, but do you think that might be one of the reasons why Bray Wyatt wasn't necessarily interested in being your tag team partner? Which, by the way, you guys came up short in that final, Cedric. I'm very – you put up a great performance. I'm sorry that you didn't get the title win. Um, you came up short. But what what a, what a what a fantastic performance! And here in two weeks, you have Kevin Owens in a table match. What are you doing to prepare for that? As Ziggler with a swinging, beautiful neck breaker on Daniel Bryan there. Bryan having to use those ropes to get back to his feet. Ziggler not wasting any time. A drop kick sending Bryan over the top rope and outside the ring. And you got to think, these guys want to climb up that ladder with the NGW television title on the line, with the NGW world title, with the NGW television title, the world title, uh, the, 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 the bracket just getting deeper and deeper, more wrestlers showing up. you got to think people are looking to, to make a name for themselves and stand out of the pack. Look at Big E. Look at what Big E did Monday night. Big E now stands out. Big E. Probably, probably looking, eyeing a position in the power rankings so that he has an easier time making a challenge for one of those two titles. Brian there. Brian's got the submission. He's going to have to tap it. Dolph's going to have to tap Ziggler. And, oh, Ziggler tap. Dolph tap. Cruz, I'm sorry. Cedric, I'm losing my mind. I don't know who's who. He was, I told you he was going to have to tap. Beautiful win for Daniel Bryan on Dolph Ziggler tonight. Sauce it on you. Daniel you are now 1-0. and oh. Dolph Ziggler, you are 0-1. And, and what an impressive win for Daniel Bryan tonight. And we get to our next match. The LaBelle lock, the yes lock, the no lock. The eco lock, whatever you want to call it, whatever. It was the lock that tapped Dolph Ziggler out tonight. And here we have women in action. Zelina Vega and Nikki Cross, two women who made their debut at that full Monty Battle Royal at Living in Sin. Uh, Cedric, what are your thoughts on this match coming up? This dude said he's practicing setting tables up. Are you kidding me? He said he is practicing setting tables. <laughs> what are you doing in preparation for a table match? Well, I bought a bunch of tables, and I'm practicing getting their legs up as quickly as possible. Zelina Vega came up short in the Battle Royal, as did Nikki Cross, but just like what we saw with Daniel Bryan, one of these women stand a chance to enhance and improve their win. Their, 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 they stand a chance to get a win under their column tonight. They're both 0-0 zero and zero in NGW singles action. This is a big opportunity for both of these ladies. And how about Horizon? So so far, the first episode of Horizon been fantastic. Daniel Bryan and Ziggler put on a great performance. I gotta tell you, I'll tell you one thing, Cedric. This is a performer right here coming out to the ring right now. And the lights dimming. She's coming out. Nikki Cross is someone that terrifies me. I would not want to start trouble with Nikki Cross. And if I'm Zelina Vega, I'm probably gonna try to get on her good side tonight. And there she is, the mistress, the mistress of havoc herself, Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross. 
Man, I wish they would do more with her. I like that tag team of her and Bliss. And then they just don't do anything with her now. How sad. Okay. Her running in this game is atrocious. Cross just coming out here at mock speed. Zelina Vega having to slide out of the ring, and I don't blame her. I need to get out of this arena, Cedric. <laughs> I don't know, Cedric. I don't have an answer for you there. We probably shouldn't speak too loudly because if she hears this, who knows what's going to happen to the two of us. As a matter of fact, I am rooting for Nikki Cross with this. You got this, Nikki. You've got this. Nikki fell off, and so yeah, they did. They don't have any. They're not doing anything with her, which is a shame. That's the problem with WWE, man. They just really don't help. They don't. They don't give anybody any long-term equity. The unorthodox Nikki Cross, a formidable competitor, no matter who she's. In the and Nikki Cross throwing Zelina Vega, as soon as the bell sounded, just tossing her across the ring here. And uh, what, uh, what is this? Uh, a nice backbreaker from Cross. And she just drapes that back over and he stretches it out. That can't be good on the spine or that lower back, Cedric. Cedric, if, when you step in the ring, so you, you tag with Bray Wyatt, who in my opinion has a similar demeanor to Nikki Cross. When you are in the ring with someone like this, someone who just doesn't seem to exist on the same, on, on the same, uh, I don't know, the same realm? They don't seem to be in the same universe that we're in. What do you do? How do you prepare for that as Lena Vega drops Nikki Cross with a fantastic Hurricane Rana? But a fireman's carry from Nikki Cross to Zelina Vega. And a form, a brutal form from Cross dropping Vega to the canvas. Followed by a headbutt. Two heads. She's just headbutting her. Rapid succession. And look at her holding her head. And she's smiling while she did it, Cedric. She is a glutton for punishment. Saying a jingle about WWE, I will after Horizon's over, if that's fair. And a neck breaker from that middle rope. She can withstand the punishment, though. And we have a pinfall here from Cross. But a one count, Zelina kicking out. If I'm Zelina. I'm looking for some offense as soon as possible. But no, an inverted DDT from Cross. But Vega, a series of punches to the midsection and another Hurricane Rana. And a splash. I tried to zone him out until he did that bridge they did those. Then I have an anxiety attack. And Zelina back in control with a series of kicks. As Cross gets back to her feet in the corner, but she throws Alina Vega to the corner. Vega fights back with a knee, followed by a drop kick. Cross down on the canvas here. And Zelina going after that leg. Extending that knee. That's not good. Cross firing back with another kick, followed by a thief's press, followed by a series of punches. Vega has to roll out of the ring here. Vicky, or I said Vicky, Nikki not letting her go. Neck breaker off the middle rope. And she's got Zelina on her shoulders. Beautiful execution there from Nikki Cross. This might be it, uh, Cedric. And next week on Horizon, I have uh, who wanted to be on commentary with me next week? I don't know if I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Damian Priest or Cesaro? I have to figure it out. I have to see what you guys are doing. And another neck breaker from Nikki Cross. I got to see who you're... Oh, yeah, you're not wrestling next week, are you? I don't know. I'll have to look. I know you're wrestling, though. Cross with a suplex here. Leg. Oh, beautiful. That has to be it. 
and Nikki Cross picking up a big win here in her NGW debut on Horizon. What a win for Nikki Cross. Here's the highlight. So yeah, actually, I think doing a second show is a good idea because now we're getting we're, we're getting records together. Now other women are getting their records built up. Uh, you know, I really didn't think Zelina Vega stood a chance in that match because Jesus. Nikki Cross went ham, didn't she? We go to our next match. And our main event is a zero gravity rules match. Tyler Bate versus Johnny Gargano. If you think that if you think about it, Nikki Cross should, the finisher should be the cross body, my lord. And this match is gonna be everywhere, Cedric. Cedric, what are your thoughts on the zero gravity division? And I apologize for this arena, guys. I will be looking at a different arena tonight or Friday. I'm sad because I wasn't expecting the, the arena to look like that. So Zero Gravity Division is our cruiserweight division. Except all matches are uh, false count anywhere. Zero Gravity rules tonight, Cedric. Falls count anywhere tonight. I actually might not have set this up as a zero gravity rules match. So you'll have to forgive me. I think I did though. Oh, I did? Good looking, Axel. Good looking. They're going to be all over this arena, Cedric. Yeah, you're in the division. Alberto Carrillo's in the division. In the time to his goals. And that's what it's all about, uh, I, uh, Cedric. It's all about getting grapplers, high flyers, athletes out of their comfort zone, trying to come up with a combination, a fusion of different abilities to pick up a victory. Bate had very disparaging remarks about Jungle Boy and Johnny Gargano, his teammates, at the in the Zero Gravity six-man tag at the first night of Living in Sin. And Jungle Boy and Johnny Gargano did not help Tyler Bate when he lost. And that's what brings us here tonight. Tyler Bate looking to get a measure of revenge against Johnny Gargano. You could join. Well, I'm thinking we're going to have to see how the stuff with, set with uh, Kevin Owens goes. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking Cedric might be a good spot. I know Apollo Cruz is in. I did put Apollo Cruz in zero gravity. It's really not so much weight limit. It's all about the guys who are, the guys who go all out in their matches. Those guys get entered. But you're not gonna. It's not gonna be. It's not gonna be like the X division either. We're like Samoa Joe's gonna have the title. But Apollo Cruz is a guy that I'm putting in in the zero gravity division for sure. And here we go, Cedric. Lock it up right in the center of the ring here with Bate throwing Johnny Gargano to the canvas. And we get another lock up. Bate throwing him down again, showing his superior strength there. Gargano really can't believe it. And we got a headlock from Tyler Bate. A nice take, a nice headlock takeover. And a punch. A punch to break away. A little cheap shot from Tyler Bate. I'm not liking this side of Tyler Bate we've been seeing, Cedric. But he can get the job done. There are no questions asked about that. As Johnny Gargano fires away with an Irish whip into the turnbuckle. But Bate bounces off and hits an elbow. Gar Gargano fights out of a grapple. Kick to the midsection in the form. Dropping Tyler Bate to the canvas. And here we go now. And now Gargano going after that knee. And a, uh, a, a cutter. And another, these two are just countering each other, hold for hold. Here it comes. Stay away from and look at that submission there from Gargano. 
And but Bates showing off his superior technical prowess, getting out of that submission hold. And now Bate back in control. He's got double. He's got he's got underhooks there, and just drops uh, Johnny Gargano with a suplex. And a punch, a close fist punch there from Bate. And an overhead toss from Bate to Gargano. Well, I don't think Gargano's going to become the first champion here, Cedric. Look how Tyler Bates just all over him. Arm drag from Johnny Gargano. And that's right, Cedric, you just spoke on it. The Zero Gravity title will make its debut at Night of Champions, or at Clash of the Champions. We don't know the match. We don't know what, who's going to be in it. But we do know there will be a title match to crown the first ever Zero Gravity champion as Johnny Gargano hits a, a suplex. And a punch from Gargano followed by a chop. Tyler Bate coming back with a chop and a monkey flip. And Bate looking for a cover here. Does he get it off this, Cedric? I don't think he does. And he does not indeed kick out one count for Johnny Gargano there. You're going to have to do more to put away a guy like Johnny Gargano. That is for sure, Cedric. And Bate with an elbow. So far, Bate has been in control for a majority of this match. Gargano's able to find some offense, but not enough for it to matter as Bate taking Gargano off the suplex. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. From behind. Oh, wait a minute. Gargano there. Gargano with the forearm dropping Bate. Bate back to his feet, though. And a kick from Bate to Gargano. And that rolling kick just taking Gargano right out. This could be it, Cedric. Referee's got the two count. Two count from the referee. Gargano able to get out. Bate is still not relenting on Gargano. Gargano, though, blocking a, 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 an attempt for a, lay, a, a single leg pick there. And now Gargano, Gargano going for a cover of his own, gets a one count. And Gargano dragging Tyler Bate there. Would you buy, Craig? A kick from Bate. Double under hook. There's the Tyler Driver. What is this? The Tyler Driver 98. One, two, no, a two count. Neck breaker from Gargano. How long have we been going? An hour and a half? Gargano throwing a series of punches to Tyler Bates midsection. Can you believe Gargano kicked out of the Tyler driver? Oh, Craig got an Xbox Series X. Let's go. Wait, you got a Series S. Let's go. Hell yeah. What'd you get? You get any games? I just downloaded, uh, I just pre-ordered Returnal for PS5. I'm kind of interested in how that game plays. And what's Gargano got here? The Gargano escape. The Gargano escape. Is Tyler going to get out of this? It's locked in tight, Cedric. It's locked in tight. He lets go. And Gargano has found his second life. Look at that kick. Oh, you got the, oh boy. We can play some Outriders, kid. And Gargano with snake eyes. My God, right on the middle rope. My lord! He's got him and now we got a pinfall here. And, he and a two count! Wow. Are you kidding me? I don't like these things. I hate these things that they do in this game. What in the hell? Bait just grabbed Gargano, but Gargano sliding off his shoulders. And a neck breaker from Gargano to Bait. And Gargano in that corner. He's got him blocked in. Kick right across the temple. He got all of it. 
and a big win for Johnny Gargano here tonight. What a match. What a way to close off NGW Horizon. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. We will see you next Monday for NGW Shockwave.